and welcome to Crafty Crafts at Sky Alice Jesse. My name's Debbie. Thank you for clicking onto my channel. Always happy about that. Well, today I'm going to show you how I like to decorate or bling up a very dull brush. So I just show you very simply and easily it can be done. Change your brush. It, the brush is in good condition, but it's so dull and I'm not I'm not really into plain stuff. I like things that are a bit sparkly as I have a thing for bling self-confessed so the easy way to do it is just to change the front and make it look nice and you know sparkly and noticeable so I've got two my favorite crafting material is um, some diamond bracelet uh, sorry some diamond borders not bracelets, well, the light bracelets, I'll make them to bracelets, some diamond borders, and I absolutely love them, and I want to get them in other colours, and I'm, they're very versatile, and I've used them for um, putting on flowers, and um, all sorts of things, really, flowers, uh, candle, dis candle holders, all sorts of things. If you want to see what else I use these for then please click on my other channel and i'll show you but the very first of time and these are my favorite bits so let's get started so what you will need is obviously a brush or that you want to change the appearance of some of the diamante borders any colors you want i'm using two colors you're going to need a scissors to cut it's really easy to cut and um gonna need some glue if you have I've got I'm using a glue gun but if you haven't got a glue gun just use this is a hot glue gun it's plugged in but if you haven't got a glue gun just use any glue that you think um, would uh, be able to do the job because I know some glues aren't you know fall off and I've just got some baby wipes with me because that glue can get very can get a bit sticky so let's get started so I've already cut my I'll just show you I've already cut my uh, diamante borders into the shape I want it to look like. So I've cut them how I look, while well I want them to look like, and then I'll show you exactly what I do. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to take a piece of di diamante border, and I'm going to stick it on the front. I'm going to pick up my glue gun and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit across that's it just going to squeeze a little bit across not too much because I don't want it to to mess up the brush yeah I don't want too much of on the brush and then I'm going to just place it at the front I'm going to place it at the front, just move it up a little bit, just add, add a little bit more glue. I, I like to just add a little bit at a time than excess glue. So that's on there and then I've cut the next one that's a bit shorter so it's going to be up like, like steps. See? I've deliberately cut the next one so it'd be like a step here so let's glue this on and then I'll show you so you know what I'm talking about I think I'll just unplug this glue gun because it can get quite strong so we're going to place a bit more glue at the back just going to place some more glue at the back and then just going to take that away we're going to just place it next to it, but leave a little gap in the middle. Leave a little gap, a little bit of a gap in between. So what I'm going to do, I've cut them um, one shorter, and then this one will be here, and then this one will be here. So you see that they're going to be like steps. You see, I'll just show you here, be like steps. And then I'm going to leave the little gap in the middle. You see a little bit? little black gap in the middle that's what I'm going to leave so I'm going to just just take a, take away this excess glue from my fingers 
So I'm so good to have um, baby wipes because they are so great for getting rid of that. So let's get a bit more glue at the back. Not too much. Squeeze a bit. And we're going to take it and I'm going to place it next to it. The one before, but leave a little gap in between. So the last one on, on the, let's go in vertical. So just get rid of this. And just glue the back again. And then line it up. And place it there and just wipe it off my my fingers so I'll show you see here so we've got one they're going downwards one longer than one short one one shorter, and one shorter than one shorter and then what I've decided to do is I've cut them the other pieces so that they would be going the opposite way so I'll just show you so you know what I mean and I'm going to cut these a little bit more but they're going to go oops let me just glue glue this on and you'll see what I mean so I'm just going to add a little bit more glue to the bottom here dab that there so it's all going to look like this so it's going to be sort of opposite so let me just glue it on and then you'll you'll see what i i mean so i'm going to just glue a little bit more and place it place it underneath and then this one yeah, I'm just gonna just I think I'll just take take one layer off yeah okay I'm just gonna glue let me turn on my glue gun again right so we're gonna just glue underneath And then, last but not least, we're going to add a little bit more glue. We're going to just take off a little bit at the end here. I do. This is my favourite. It's so versatile. I can do so much with it. So we're just going to take off a little bit here. There we go. Taking off a little, a little bit there, and then we're going to just remove the excess glue, and then we're going to just add a bit more glue of the last two at the back. Just take that that away, take that away, take that away, and then just start to just to put a little bit of glue at the back and press it together there we go I'm going to press that together and then we're going to place the last one I'm going to just place the last one So I finished with that bit, but um, I also want to add a little bit of bling onto the brush. So I'll just show you exactly where 
I'm going to place some. I'm going to place some here. And uh, I'm going to use both. So I've cut two. Two little skinny ones. And I'm going to wrap it around the brush around here. So let me... I'm going to put it here at the back. And then turn the brush around and then glue the inside so just pop a bit of glue on there one side and pull up the other one on the other side so that's just at the back So I've put one there, and I'm going to take the pink one, and we're going to do the same. I'm going to just turn, put some here, turn it round, put some glue just in the middle, just in the middle here, just a bit in the middle. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to put it around the front next to the other one and then just turn and glue it together. Just move these together. So I've just moved them together you see. So I shall just turn it round. I'm going to wipe away any excess glue that's at the back. I'm not going to put anything on this brush on here at the handle because I need to keep it clear. So there's the result. You see how different it looks by putting pink, gold, gold, pink. You see the steps? See long, a bit shorter. Pink's a bit shorter, a bit shorter, a bit shorter. And then long, a bit shorter, a bit shorter, and a bit shorter. But opposite colours. And then just that colour there. So you see how different this brush looks? How pretty it looks and how... Oh, hello. Jessica again. But you see how pretty it can simply change a brush and just make it look more noticeable because... I'm not about plain stuff. I always want to bling things up and change the appearance. You know, I do look at things and think, that's nice, but it could do with a few diamonds here. As being a blingaholic, absolutely lovely. See how different it looks? So I'm going to use this brush now. <laughs> but um, thanks so much for watching my channel, whether you watch me on a regular basis or you're just watching me on a as a one-off. I'm so appreciative of it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I normally post about every two, about two, one or two times a week, two or three times between Monday and th Monday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I try and post. Um, so if you want to subscribe, please hit the notification bell and please hit the subscri sub subscribe bell to me and the notification bell so they let you know that i have posted and um so so much thank you so much for watching my channel and um any comments <laughs> yeah any comments or any thing you want to ask me please comment down below any questions okay thank you so much